the flow chart of playing with the numbers chapter. In playing with the numbers, we have few topics: general form of uh, numbers, magic square concept, and list of divisibility. In general form of uh, numbers, we have two-digit number, three-digit number. So in the two-digit number, we learned about how to add a two-digit numbers and if the, how to take the reverse of it. For example, 23. 23 is this is a ones place. This is a tens place. So we can write this as 20 plus 3. Suppose if I reverse this digit, it will become 32. So how will you write this? This we can write as 30 plus 2. So in general, if I take x y is a two digit number, then we can write this number as 10x plus 1 y. That is nothing but y. Similarly, we can able to frame a three digit number and we can able to add the three digit numbers as far as we can able to subtract the three digit numbers. Next, to, magic square concept. In magic square, we have uh, two magic square, one is 3 cross 3, another one is 4 cross 4, 4 cross 3. In 3 cross 3 matrix, there are two things are there. They will give a middle term, based on the middle term, we will make a 3 cross 3 matrix. So, what is the magic square? Before, uh, first we need to add, in a 3 cross 3 matrix, there will be 9 boxes in there. In the 9 boxes, we need to add column wise as well as row wise, so that the sum will be equal. Similarly, the diagonal also has to be equal. So, row wise, column wise, as well as the diagonal wise, the sum is equal, then it will become a magic square. Similarly, we can make the 4 cross 4 matrix also. Okay. Next concept, test of divisibility. So, these are the very important concepts. Next test of divisibility. So, we are going to check whether a given number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10 and one more 11 is also there. So, what are the conditions for divisibility of 2? We know very well. The divisibility condition of 2 is the last digit, that means the unit digit should end with the even numbers. What are the even numbers, Rohit? Shut up. What are the even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 6 8, 8, 8, 10. 10. Okay. So, these are the even numbers. So, we need to take the last digit. Only. So, 10 means it will be considered as 0. Very good. Give a big uh, to Rohit. Give a big O. Oh. Oh. So, if a number ends with 0. If a number ends with the even numbers, 0, 2, 4, 8, so it will be common that okay. Well, next step. What is the divisibility condition of 3? We learned that sum of all the digits should be divisible by 3. So, if you know that rule, you can easily check whether the number will be divisible by 3 or not. Again, I will repeat what is the divisibility condition of 3? We need to add all the digits and we need to check whether the number will be divisible by 3 or not. Next step. Divisibility condition of 4. Take the last two digits and divide by 4, so it will be completely divisible. Take the last two digits and divide by 4. Next, we know very easiest one divisibility by 5. Sasmita, what is the divisibility condition of 5? It should be end with 5 or 0. So, only uh, two numbers 0 or 5. Then it will be common na 5 times. Very good. Give a big boom to Sasmita. Okay, one more. By divisibility condition of 6. Okay, 6 we can write it as in one stand up. 6 we can write it as product of two numbers. What are the product? 6 we can write as 3 and 2. 2, very good. So, 3 and 2, otherwise 2 and 3. So, 2 into 3 is also 6. 3 into 2 is also 6. Sit down, very good. So, we can write the 6 as 2 into 3. That means it has to satisfy the condition of 2 as well as 3. So, that is the divisibility condition of 6. Next, the divisibility condition for 8. For the divisibility condition of 4, what actually we will choose? The last two digit has to be divisible by 4 digit. If for divisibility condition of 8, the last three digit should be divisible by 8. Okay, so we can check it only for the larger number. Next, 9 table. So, the condition for the 3 table as well as the 9, both are the same. Sum of all the digits should be divisible by 3, then it will be a divisibility condition of 3 table. Sum of all the digits divisible by 9, then which is the divisibility condition of 9 table. Uncle Shami, stand up. What is the divisibility condition of 9 table? If a number we should add the digits. Okay. When we add the digits, we will get a number which is the multiple of 9, then it is a then it is divisible by 9. Right. Very good. Give a big boot to Abdul Shami. Very good. Now the last one. What is the divisibility condition of 10? We know very well the last digit should be ended with the 0. zero. Yeah. Then all the numbers will be divisible by 10. 
So these are the dictionaries. So what we learnt in the way with numbers, general form of two digit number and three digit numbers, and how to add the two digit and then subtract the two digit, how to uh, add a three digit number as well as subtracting the three digit number, like the match square concept. Three plus three magic as well as the four plus four. Next the test of those words, this is by two, three, four, and up to ten. Thank you. Thank you.